So hello people, how are you going today? And today is Burma time, or as they like to call themselves now, Myanmar. And today I'm just going to show you a few banknotes of this country. Uh, I do not have a set, over time that will change. As soon as I get a set, I'll show you all the banknotes. So, so these banknotes have been issued since 1973. And some of them have uh, not yet. These have not been demonetized, so these are still legal tender. So here we have the uh, one kayak. So the front is in uh, Burmese, has English down there for the denomination. And this happens in some countries. Um, some Arabic countries have it as well. They have one serial number in a Latin lettering and another one in the local script. In this um, case, it's uh, in Burmese script. And the Burmese script is, um, well, it evolved in Burma, but it actually came from India. But I won't go into that. So on the front, we have Ansan who is the father of Aung San Suu Kyi and he was the independence leader of Burma so he was backed by the I think he was backed by the Japanese and then he switched side to the British ok this one is issued in 1972 obviously it's uncirculated and on the back we have a spinning wheel used to spin uh, wool type fibers into thread to make clothing and all that and on the back we have beautiful patination so maybe this patination here is what they actually make out of the thread so you can make carpets blankets jumpers anything like that and you can make it different types of patterns depending on the color and how you do it here is uh number one yeah so cool Looks like um, typical traditional uh, Burmese type uh, architecture. The watermark is unsung, pretty big watermark actually, and it has a security thread. So this was actually a lot of money back in 1972. Okay, next one we have is the five kayak from uh, 1973. Same deal. One serial number in uh, Burmese script and one in uh, Latin. It has also has unsung. So, so all these banknotes from the 1970s have unsung on them. And at this time, there was a uh, one, five, ten, twenty-five, fifty, and a hundred kaya. Uh, I like the colour on this banknote. On the back, we have uh, a palm tree. It looks like uh, it's not a coconut palm. It looks like these seeds up here are a bit small. Could be a date palm. Not too sure. So if anyone knows, please leave a comment down below. And the same deal is with the uh, one kite. There's a watermark of unsung and security bread. So the next one we have is a pretty uh, unique denomination for Burma. This one is a 15 kayak. This was issued in uh, ooh, 1986 under when uh, Ni Win was a dictator of uh, Burma. And it has something to do with numerology. Uh, I know that there was um, also a 35, a 45, 75, and 90 kayak. And this was issued along with the 35 kayak. And it has something to do with um, Niwin's uh, numerology or whatever. So the 90 kayak was issued because an astrologer said he would live to 90. And um, the ooh, 75 kayak was issued because he was 75 at the time. I'm not too sure about the uh, 15 and 35 kayak. Maybe it's something to do with the 70. 
Okay, on the back we have Minha, which is a wooden puppet used in a traditional Burmese theatre place. And it has a traditional, looks like a Burmese type pattern. Hmm. And the uh, watermark is the, um, unsung again. The security thread is there. And this one seems to be, uh, there's some writing on it, which I do not know. What it is. Okay. So and oh sorry, one thing I should say is that all these banknotes are issued as a uh, Burma. Is that Burma? Yeah. Union of Burma Bank. Now in nineteen ninety they started issuing banknotes under Myanmar. So here you go, Central Bank of Myanmar. It's one kayak and it has a a uh, boat racing, like a Chinese um, boat racing, has a large boat, ceremonial boat in the background, uh, and it has a pagoda up there, which will be associated with some temple complex. And this one it has a simple watermark, it just says. Uh, uh, B on it and the number one and on the front it has a chinzi or a mythical line used to guard the uh, stupas in temples and this comes from China and in China they use it quite a lot to usually in pairs to guard doorways and this one just has the serial number in Burmese and I have a lot here have a lot of ten so you can actually learn how to count in Burmese with these are uh, a lot of 10 banknotes quite small ok the second one I have is uh, the 100 kayak and this along with the 1 kayak was replaced by a coin in 1999 and this one has a serial number in Latin and Burmese like the older banknotes uh, this was ish in 94 but this one is a 90, 90, 96 issue or whatever oh sorry that's a 200 this is the 100 god how stupid am I and same deal as a chinzi and it has uh, some individuals working on a stuco which is uh, part of a temple complex Okay, so the two. This is a two hundred. This is actually a currently circulating banknote. This is the lowest banknote you'll get, so worth about twenty US cents. And the watermark is um, Chinzi on both. It has the denomination just below it. Um, and this star here is actually on the coat of arms. On the reverse of this one, just has a working elephant dragging logs, and this is the top part of the coat of arms of uh, Burma. It would be cool if they actually put the coat of arms on here. The grouse. So this one is uh, 150 times 70 millimeters, which is the same size as all the other Burmese banknotes. And the other one issued before it was 167 times. 79 millimeters, so it's a bit of a larger banknote. And if you look here, you'll see that let's turn that one over. On each of the denominations, the Chinzi is uh, facing the opposite direction. So only 100 is facing that way, 200 this way, 500 would be facing that way, 1000. It's facing that way. The 5,000, 10,000 don't have the Chinzi on it, but they obey this parameter. So the 50 Kayat will be facing that way, the 25 that way, the 10 that way, the 5 that way, and the 1 that way. 
And if I show you the one, it's in the same direction as the one two hundred. So they are my collection of Burmese banknotes. If you like these banknotes, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a beautiful day.